What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, JP got a data download about an hour ago, and along with the, you know, new Videl stuff, we also got the Extreme Z Awakening details for four free-to-play units that are coming to both Global and JP. Actually, you know what, only the first two should be dropping on both sides in about a day from now, and the last two will be coming to JP first, and then eventually on Global at some point in the future. But uh, anyways, the four units getting EZAs are the Fizz April Fool's Goku from about two years ago, I think. And also the AGL April Fool's Vegeta from the same celebration. We have the AGL Yamu and Spopovich. And finally, the Int Great Saiyan Man or uh, Team Gohan that transforms into Great Saiyan Man. All right, so with all that said, let's jump right into the details. We're gonna pop over to the Dokkan wiki here where Reddit user LT Thunder. Did I say wiki? I meant uh, Dokkan subreddit where Reddit user LT Thunder has provided us with the translations for all four units. So big shout out to LT Thunder. Really appreciate it. And why don't we start here with the Goku first? Oh, by the way, the Goku and Vegeta are both getting new Dokkan Awakenings and then Extreme Z Awakenings. So this is after they've been Dokkan Awakened and uh, obviously Extreme Z Awakened. So yeah, starting with Goku, his leader skill is gonna be Goku's family, key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 44%, or super class, key plus three slash four. Uh, apparently there was a bit of uh, confusion about exactly what the second part is because it was cut off on DBZ space, so he's not 100% sure, but he did say it's most likely Gonna be super class key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 33%. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. Regardless of what the actual leader skill is, it's still not gonna be good enough for most people to actually use them as leaders, right? But uh, yeah, that's the leader skill or approximately what it's gonna be. And then super attack is Kaoken Kamehameha, which causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for four turns as opposed to just attack before the Dokkan Awakening, and then a passive is attack plus 88% at the start of the turn, and defense plus 88% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 88% when facing an extreme class enemy. So that's Goku right there. Vegeta's details are fairly similar with some minor differences. So Vegeta is Vegeta's family, key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 44%, or extreme class, key plus probably three, and HP attack and defense plus 33%. And then super attack is Gallic Gun, causes supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for four turns. And then passive is defense plus 88% at the start of the turn, attack plus 88% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 88% when facing a super class enemy. So like I said, fairly similar minor differences. And uh, for the most part, the differences do make Vegeta better than Goku, in my opinion, and in the opinions of most people, actually. Uh, one thing is that you actually want to start with defense first as opposed to attack first, because this makes Vegeta more viable as a turn one, or rather, uh, slot one unit, right? Because with Goku, you don't get this defense until you attack, which means that uh, in slot one, if he's taking attacks before he gets to attack, then he's going to be fairly squishy, right? And uh, the other thing is that Vegeta gets the additional attack buff when he's facing super class enemies, which is more common than facing extreme class enemies. Of course, you can, you know, only bring them for, you know, different situations. Like if you're facing an extreme class enemy, like you know you're facing one, then you can bring Goku. And if you know you're facing super class, you can bring Vegeta. But uh, like I said, there are just more super class enemies in the game, so Vegeta is going to be getting this additional buff more often. But uh, with that said, I mean, both of them are very good, regardless of the fact that Vegeta is a bit better. And uh, I saw their stats. They also have pretty high stats for free to play units, so that's also going to help with their attack and defense. So yeah, they both look really good. I mean, they both were quite impressive already as free to play units before the EZAs, or before the Token Awakenings and the EZAs. So now, they're going to be extra good, definitely very excited for them, and uh, as I said, both Global and JP players will be getting them for 
this year's April Fool's celebration. Okay, so uh, that's the Goku and Vegeta right there, looking really, really solid. Now moving on to the next page here, and once again, still LT Thunder, big shout out. Uh, let's talk about Yamu and Spopovich. So leader skill is going to be World Tournament, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or Extreme Class key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 40%. And then super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense and heals 7% HP. So unless there's some kind of mistake, it looks like they infinitely stack attack and defense, which is of course huge for longer events. And then they also get uh, the passive of course is attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn, defense plus 20% for every attack received, and then keep plus 2, and attack plus 20% per attack launched, or rather super attack launched, up to defense plus 160%. And then, uh, disables enemy's guard when attacking a super class enemy. So, uh, they're gonna be really freaking tanky, man. I mean, of course it does take a little while to build up that defense, but if they're stacking attack and defense on their super attack and also getting 20% defense for every attack received, and uh, I believe their attack is infinite here for every super attack launch. I mean, if you go back to their pre-EZA details here, um, yeah, they did get attack plus 20% with each super attack performed unconditionally or infinitely, so in theory, they could get up to 10,000% attack. Of course, you're never going to reach that, but, you know, theoretically, if there was, like, an infinite event in the game, they could reach that, right? And uh, instead of, yeah, 140% defense as the max, now it's up to 160% defense as the cap. And, uh, yeah, disables enemy's guard. It's also going to allow you to do, you know, some more damage. And, uh, yeah, the healing, too, is also nice. Uh, did they have healing before? Let me check. I don't believe... Oh, never mind, they did. Okay, so they had the healing. They just didn't have the attack and defense stacking, which makes a pretty big difference. So, Yamu and Spopovich also looking pretty damn solid. And finally, we have the uh, Great Saiyan Man or Teen Gohan into Great Saiyan Man. So, leader skill is going to be Ally of Justice, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or super class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%, and then super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 158% at the start of the turn. An additional key plus 5, attack and defense plus 58%, and 18% critical hit chance and dodge chance when facing an extreme class enemy. And then damage reduction of 28% when there's an ally participating in the attack that is included in the Peppy Gals or Youth category. And this unit super attack is sealed and uh, plus 30% damage reduction if the enemy is in the Peppy Gals or Youth category. And uh... Yeah, that's the Great Saiyan Man right there. Let me quickly check to compare with the pre EZA details here. So yeah, instead of the 10% uh, chance for critical hits and evasion, it becomes 18% when facing extreme class enemies. And instead of attack and defense plus 100%, he now gets attack and defense plus 158%. And um, also you get this 28% damage reduction if you have a Peppy Gals or Youth category enemy or rather, uh, ally attacking in the same turn. And yeah, everything else looks very similar from what I can tell. Although you do get an extra 30% damage reduction when your super attack is sealed. So that's something. And uh, there's also a new Videl support memory, if you guys didn't know about that. And the effect for it is uh, Majin Buu Saga allies keep plus two for the first two turns of the battle. So there you go guys, uh, four EZAs coming, two for both sides, two for JP right now. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. I'm extra impressed with the Goku and Vegeta. Can't wait to you know farm them out and test them out. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video guys. It's super late right now, so I am about to pass out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do after I film this. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, 
and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.